What's good, Bully World? It's your boy Ashton Edwards. You may know me as a member of Team Midwest, owner of Reliance Kennels, Ruby Miles. And just recently, to have the only female in the Bully Talk with Zed Pitt's 2018 mascot or the Brotherhood of Ten. It's building season, baby. Let's get it going. Myself, though, man, I'm 24 years old, uh, born and raised in Gary, Indiana, currently residing in Fort Wayne, Indiana. So I'm a long ways away from the rest of Team Midwest. So if you ever see me hanging out with them, just know I had to make the trek. Uh, I've been really into the bully game since like 2013. Uh, started off buying a bunch of bullshit males. So uh, if I can give you any advice, just invest in a nice female. Don't try to don't try to beat the, the system. Spend five hundred dollars on a dog and thinking it's gonna be the next big thing because you're wasting your time. Uh, but yeah, man. So I'm I'm really trying to jump head first into this thing. I got a lot of support. Got a really good support system, a good team behind me. Uh, trying to do everything the right way. And uh, yeah, that's really about it. <laughs> man, to to have the only female in the Brotherhood of Ten with. Big name dogs such as Shamrock, Shy Rag, Problem Child, Bear, Cyanide, Tyson, Waffle House. I mean, it's, it's an honor and, and it's monumental, you know, because a lot of people think that she's a male or they think she's a full grown dog and she's only 10 and a half months. So to even be in the same conversation with dogs like that, to me, it's a feat within itself. And, uh, I, I got big plans for this girl in the future, man. And y'all just gonna have to stay tuned. You know, I get a lot of people in my inbox and they have suggestions on who they would take Booby Miles to. And most of them are really good suggestions, but I already got the blueprint planned out for her. Her first breeding is gonna be the champion Grim, who is a grand champion Rocco's son. Grand champion Rocco bred to Akira, who's got a little bit of situation blood in her herself. So I think the pedigrees will mesh up really well. What I expect from that breeding is big heads, lots of bones, Nothing over 15 inches tall, thick rears, medium sized backs, nice tight feet, um, and Grimm's throwing chocolate tries. Uh, Booby is a cash pot great great granddaughter, I believe. I mean, I know that's far back, but she might still carry color. I really don't care enough to check because I don't care, but I know some people that's a big thing to them. So we might get some chocolates, we might get some champagnes, but I don't care if we get foreign or black. Uh, her second and third breed, man. I have a lot of stud options, man. I got a lot of connections in the game, and uh, I just know her second breeding is, is, is really set up to be monumental. You know, you never let the left hand know what the right hand is doing. So I can't tell y'all just yet, but uh, man, think about it just right now. It's gonna be crazy. It's, it's whew, it's gonna be nice.